It's getting good, the lighting. Look at this, guys. It's gonna be a banger. Holy smokes. We'll maybe get on top of these rocks a little bit without falling into the lake. I'll post it for you guys to laugh at, all right? Absolutely banger. Gonna scope out some nature and some landscape photography today. So uh, come join me and let's get to it. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful and they smell amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Get a couple of these shots in the bag here. There's a really cool um, bridge over here I want to get a shot of too, in between two trees. Looks absolutely stunning. Got some brand new coffee on checkout, so let's get to it. So many clouds in the sky right now. It's uh, absolutely beautiful, just really sunny out. I'm gonna get a shot of this. Uh, bridge here. I really like all the foliage just on the side of it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a creek right on the side down here too. Get some more in the bag! We're gonna go on the opposite side as well and get some shots facing this way of the bridge. I think that'd be really cool. And I'll see what else we can get in the bag. All right, come on guys. And then it'll be coffee time later. Holy smokes. Breeze feels so good. So for this shot of the bridge, I want both of these trees to kind of um, be part of the leading line uh, with the gravel trail, leading up as if um, you know you're, you're gradually your eyes are going into onto the bridge and over to the curve up to that hill. So holy smoke, is it's hot! I do not have my 15 to 35 on me, so we're just gonna be using the uh, vlogging camera as well as uh, getting some uh, compression shots with the 150 to 600. All right, guys. So here is another angle that I want to try with this bridge. Um, I'm gonna put you down real quick and show you. Uh, I want to try to get it um, in the, the the bridge anyways in the top right corner of the composition of the frame just so I can have for the foreground most of the grass and the, the trailhead here uh, so it gives you that illusion that you want to walk along this trail and on this path here and it's leading up into uh, the bridge. smokes
Cheers, guys. Be really cool as I got a couple good shots in the bag of um, compressed the shot with the 150 to 600 of the uh, lighthouse there, all the way back there. Checked out some new coffee here uh, called Alpha Coffee, made here in the United States, and they are a veteran owned company. So I wanted to support them. I know a good chunk of a purchase goes to deployed servicemen and women overseas. So I wanted to help them out and check out this new brand of coffee. And so far, guys, I'm loving it. Millions upon millions upon millions of little tiny seashells. All different kinds of colors, different rocks, and all different types of seashells. Absolutely love it. It's really fun to be out here and just go shelling. The wind is starting to pick up. <laughs> One of two things are gonna happen. Either these clouds are going, are going to turn into a storm, which would be pretty rad, or there's going to be a sunset, which would be pretty rad and pretty cool too. But there is a boardwalk right up here along these uh, boulders here. So let's get up there and try to get a couple shots up there as well. Dropped my lighter in the water. It's a good thing big lighters can dry out pretty good and you can still use them. Oh, and another uh, cool tip, wrap, uh, I know they, the black ones look pretty cool, you know, all you know, blacked out and you know, stuff like that, uh, tactical. But uh, always get a, when you're outdoors, always get a light colored lighter uh, and put some uh, duct tape around it, but let the, let the color, the size show for the colors. But get some duct tape because duct tape is good for, you know, patching up, you know, anything, first aid even, uh, and also starting a fire, it'll also burn, so. <laughs> Smoke. Don't overlook the small little details that you guys can find in like trees, leaves, uh, rocks, and just the things that we normally would buy, just overlook. Because you can get some really, really good shots. Like this right here, check it out. Just a stump, right? Just an average down tree stump. <laughs> but check it out, man. Check out the small details. All the different types of shade, the different shades of colors of brown and gold and yellow. Absolutely beautiful. We are going to chill out in the truck for just a little bit before we head back out there and get hopefully a sunset overlooking that lighthouse. Snack snackaroo before heading back out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best part about um, fruit in a can is also the juice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Let me go uh, down in the comments below what your guys' favorite uh, fruit juice is. Mine is a tie between pineapple juice and orange juice. Absolutely love it. As the uh, YouTube videos on the R7 start rolling out, uh, it's looking to be more interesting for me and, and my needs for wildlife and nature photography anyways. I'm looking forward to bringing it out to the field and and uh, beating it up and getting a lot of different shots uh, with the birds and just nature and landscape photography in general with that, especially for the reach. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious.
I've been thinking about lately is the Sigma 150 to 600 good enough for nature and landscape photography? Well, let's go shoot this uh, sunset and uh, find out. All right, shall we? Let's go. Ah, guys, I just love the colors. Love the colors that are coming, the yellows and the oranges. Uh, as the sun peeks out from underneath the clouds. It's gonna be a banger one tonight, guys. It's gonna be a banger. Different angle, maybe get on top of these rocks a little bit without falling into the lake. If I do hurt myself and fall into the lake, I'll still post it for you guys to laugh at, all right? What a great sunset. Look at this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Definitely don't be afraid, guys, to use your super telephoto lenses for landscape photography. Isolate the subject, get low, watch your backgrounds, find a good subject to isolate. Just one, though. Don't make it a bunch. Just find one subject to isolate like this lighthouse for this uh, sunset. The lighthouse is way back there and we're gonna isolate it again with the 150 to 600. Just to show you guys that a super telephoto lens is still good choice for landscape photography. See the lighthouse is right there. And we're gonna try to compress it as we keep walking back and hopefully align the sun with the lighthouse. an evening for some nature and some landscape photography. Absolutely banger tonight, guys. Relax and enjoy the rest of the evening as the sun sets. I hope you guys enjoyed those few photographs that I was able to get until the next one. Take care, God bless, and I'll see ya on the next one. Out.